took less than 10 seconds, a homeless camper killed at the hands of two APD officers. Those 10 seconds sparked violent protesting. AK-47! All right! The national spotlight. We are back with a report about a city on the edge over the use of excessive force. And less than two weeks later, the Department of Justice. Specifically, we found that officers used deadly force in an unconstitutional manner. And tonight, the two officers who used deadly force against James Boyd are charged with his murder. Bernalillo County District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg says the decision to charge Keith Sandy and Dominic Perez instead of using the grand jury process is based on transparency. And that decision is an historic one for our state. So what does it mean going forward? Our live team coverage begins with Ryan Luby and a look at what's next in all this. Ryan? Well, Tom and Tessa, it means this case, which all got started just beyond the Copper Trailhead here with an hours-long standoff and then a shooting, will finally see its day in court. Now, this is the first time the DA's office has ever directly filed charges against an officer for shooting someone. Remember, APD officers have killed 27 people since 2010. There will not be a grand jury this time. There will not be any secret proceedings. Now, that marks a big difference from what we've seen before here and nationwide. No, the decision did not come easily. Um, did I struggle? Did I struggle? Yes. But longtime district attorney Carrie Brandenburg says her staff has what it needs to bypass the traditional grand jury process. We think that there's evidence that, that gives us the, the legal standard probable cause. We've always said that if we can meet that standard, we will go forward. And um, we believe that we can meet that standard and we are going forward. She would not outline the probable cause, but lapel camera video of the shooting itself is undoubtedly part of the evidence. There's also an audio recording capturing Keith Sandy saying he wanted to shoot James Boyd two hours before he pulled the trigger. I think this case is important. I think officer-involved shooting cases are important across the country where we want to share all of that information with the public. We want them to see it as it's unfolding. I think that that's critical to be transparent, and I, and I believe that that will be part of the healing process. Nationwide, in recent months, prosecutors have not thought that way. A secretive grand jury process in St. Louis County, Missouri, led to protest in Ferguson, where Officer Darren Wilson shot and killed Michael Brown. But back here in Albuquerque. I think it's so important that we operate transparently. Brandenburg says Ferguson did not have an impact on her decision to file charges. But unquestionably, it will give all of us a chance to see and hear the proceedings against Officer Sandy and Perez all the way through. We're going to know. The public's going to have that information. You all are going to see the witnesses, heard the argument, and you'll understand, hopefully, perhaps, why the judge made the decision that he or she made. Well, speaking of the judge, the judge will decide which charges make the most sense, ranging from first-degree murder to aggravated assault. Now, Keith Sandy and Dominic Perez will have a preliminary hearing, likely sometime in the next two to three weeks. By the way, Carrie Brandenburg says her decision to file these charges was in no way connected to the case against her, in which APD believes she attempted to bribe witnesses to drop a case against her troubled son. We are live in the foothills tonight. I'm Ryan Luby, KOB Eyewitness News 4.